okay, we've made our pie chart and our frequency bar chart. Now we're going to make our Pareto chart. So let me go in here. Oops, I already started working on it. You didn't get to see that. <laughs> so let me show you what I want to do. I'm going to highlight and I don't actually need the totals and or the relative frequencies because they're not important for me. All I want is the frequencies because I'm making a frequency Pareto chart. And I'm going to label it for myself just so I know. It could have been either one of these. I could have done it for this package just as easily as the other package. But I'm going to try to keep it consistent here so that way we can come compare them. All right, now what I want to do is I want to organize this data right here. So I'm going to take my frequencies and I'm going to sort them. So you click on the frequencies, you kind of highlight them. You can highlight the word frequency or don't highlight it, it doesn't really matter. And then you go right here to the data tab. See, normally you're in the home tab. It's called the ribbon actually. So you're in this ribbon right here, but you want to go over here and click on data. And you have these options. And you want to sort it from highest to lowest because Pareto charts go in order from highest to lowest. So you click that and it's going to ding at you and saying, hey, do you want to expand or do you want to continue? Well, if you expand, that's, well, let me just tell you, that's what you want to do because you want red to stick with the 69 and you want green to stick with that 59 and so on. So you click sort and there it is. Look, red was the highest one and it kept it with its 69. Then purple is next at 66, then green and white, and then orange, All right? Now we're in order from highest to lowest. Now what we can do is we can highlight that data. Matter of fact, I will not even highlight the word frequency this time just to show you. Go to insert, click column, 2D column, that's the only one we'll ever use. The rest are bad, bad, bad news. And then we can get rid of that legend. We can add a chart title above the chart, which would be frequency Pareto chart of candy color enter look what they did again they cut off our axis again darn them excel thinks it's so smart so i'm just going to bring it over here click click you got to kind of fiddle around with clicking on it there it is if i click on the numbers that worked right click format axis and we need to set that minimum to zero it is not good to cut off your vertical axis for most applications. There are some times where it is acceptable, but this is not one of them. There we go. Now I got these. Oh, and that makes me think. We did a bad thing. We did it over here too. Oh no. We need to add titles to these axes. It's not good just to have colors down there. Hold on. If I click here, do you see axis titles? See it in the layout tab right there? Axis titles. You've got a horizontal axis. So I'm going to click title below axis. I'm going to say candy color. Or you can just say color. An axis title vertical. I like the rotated one personally, so I'm going to click on that. This was frequency. Oh, and I got to do it over in this one too. Let me click on this graph. All right, see how it's highlighted? See how it's kind of got that like little light blue box around it? I need axis titles. Horizontal axis title, which would be candy color. Enter. Click again. V click on vertical. Click on rotated. And then this will be frequency or you could say count number those all work all right now all you got to do for your Pareto chart well you don't actually you're done but if you want to make your Pareto chart pretty you could now see how they all have little blue dots on them that's because I clicked on one of the bars and so all the bars are highlighted but then I'm gonna click again right click and I'm gonna start coloring right click get the little paint bucket you're trying to shape um, and we fill your shape so I'm gonna fill it with purple next one I'm gonna right click and fill it with green I like that green better and then I click and click right click go find that gray for that white kind of color and then there we go so you don't have to do the color thing, but isn't it kind of prettier when you do? All right, now to get all of them highlighted again, just click off of the bars. And when you click back on them, all of them will be highlighted. And then if you click again on the red one, see now the red one's highlighted, got the little rings on it. Click off, click on, right click, and you can choose format data series and you can add in a border color, solid line. Black is good, border style, I'm gonna make it thicker again.